Hi, I'm back. It's December 6th. I'm 38 days in re into recovery today. This is my seventh and final video. Um, now I'm going to tell you how I got to Safe Haven and where was I. I was walking down the street with a friend when she pointed out Safe Haven to me. A couple of days later, I walked in through the doors of Safe Haven. I had been praying to God for a change in my life, and those prayers were answered on October the 29th. I walked in the doors in tears. I was really upset. <laughs> and three women ushered me into uh, their office. <clears throat> they did an unscheduled um, assessment on me. Um, so I'm thankful for that because usually you have to schedule those assessments. Um, <clears throat> After my assessment, the case ma manager from Safe Haven informed me that there were beds available um, at the Where Was I program. Um, I was so relieved that tears started flowing again. <laughs> And they introduced me to Cheryl Beverly, one of the founders of Where Was I? She gave me a tour and took me in. Um, throughout my stay here, she's been um, a mentor to me. She's been a friend. Um, during the day, um, I go to intensive outpatient um, at Safe Haven. Um, and um, everyone has been supportive here. I have an excellent sober support team. I attend AA and NA meetings um, three times a week. I now have regular visits with my almost 10-month-old daughter, um, and I've spoken with children's services and made plans with them to get her get her back to get custody of her um, <clears throat> life is good now God is back in my life I'm clean and sober and I'm at peace and for all this I want to thank a few people <laughs> um, Cheryl Beverly Sam Sayer Rebecca Wagner of Where Was I? Julie, Carly, and Amy of Safe Haven, thank you all. You've been great. Um, I don't think I would have been able to do this without any of you. This is a really great program, and I hope my story will encourage the next addict to start their recovery. It's, it's a tough world out there, so you need to... Just come in, get help. Stay safe. Well, good night and God bless.